Thank you for purchasing your new Graco sprayer. Graco is the worldwide leader in painting equipment with over 85% of professional contractors naming Graco as the best brand available. Graco's line of painting equipment is the top choice of serious do-it-yourself homeowners, remodeling contractors, handymen, and other tradespeople. Once you experience the time savings and quality of the finish provided by your Graco sprayer, you'll never want to use a brush or traditional roller again. The purpose of this DVD is to help you get the most out of your new sprayer. You will be surprised by how fast, fun, and easy it is to spray your coatings. Included on this DVD are additional bonus sections with pointers on common painting projects. Check the DVD menu to access these bonus sections. Before using your sprayer, we recommend watching all of the following. Getting ready to spray, how to spray, cleanup and storage, basic troubleshooting, and accessories. Watch these sections, read your manual, and you will be spraying with professional results fast. Safety is an important consideration when using any power equipment. Make sure you read over all safety warnings, instructions, and the manual that came with your Graco unit before operating your equipment. In getting ready to spray, we will discuss site and surface preparation, product safety, sprayer components, unit assembly, startup, and selecting the right spray tip. Using your Graco machine as either a paint sprayer or with a pressure roller attachment requires minimal added prep work. Like any painting project, you'll need to prepare the surface you're painting and protect the surfaces you want to keep clean. Consult the store where you purchased your sprayer for tools and products that make site preparation fast and easy. You want to move as much of the furniture out of the room or the area you're painting as possible. Make sure to have plenty of space for your tools and equipment. Cover any furniture, plants, and vehicles in the area. Cover everything you don't wish to get paint on. This includes removing or covering light fixtures. Mask and paper around trim doors and windows. Turn off the electrical supply to the area and loosen or remove cover plates from light fixtures and electrical outlets. Remove heating and air conditioning vent covers. Also, remove any drapes and the bracket hardware. If painting a door or its trim, remove the door and place it across two sawhorses or a table. Remove all the hardware from the door. Repair all nail and screw holes with a spackling compound using a putty knife. Look for cracks or holes and fill them in with putty as needed. Remember to sand any rough areas. Scrape off large areas of peeling paint. Caulk or fill in all exterior cracks and holes. In cleaning the surface, follow all directions on the material container. Remove all dirt, mold, and mildew. Wipe all surfaces clean. A pressure washer with cleaning solution may be used to clean exterior surfaces. It is important to allow all surfaces time to dry thoroughly. The last step, safety, is one of the most important preparation steps. For your safety, read the operating manual and review all safety precautions for your paint sprayer and the materials you are spraying. Some of the basic safety precautions are as follows. Use your equipment only in a well-ventilated area. It's important to note that for your safety, you never want to squeeze the gun trigger when the spray tip is between the spray and unclog positions. The tip should be secure and completely inserted in the guard housing and pointing forward. Never put your hand in front of the tip and never point the spray gun at yourself or anyone else. High pressure fluid can pierce the skin and cause a very serious injury. If this happens, seek immediate medical attention, even if the injury is small. Injection injuries are very serious. Always engage the gun trigger safety when not spraying. Only use grounded electrical outlets and three wire extension cords. Refer to your manual for extension cord requirements. Always relieve the system pressure before leaving, cleaning, checking, or servicing your equipment. Always wear protective clothing such as gloves, eyewear, hearing protection, dust masks, and respirators. Wear clothes you aren't concerned about getting paint on and cover your head with a hat or spray sock. If you spray solvent-based coatings, consult your manual for important safety precautions specific to flammable materials. Always refer to the specific instructions and safety procedures for the spray equipment you are using. With the area prepared for spraying, it is time to get familiar with the sprayer.
No matter which Greco sprayer you purchased, the basic components are very similar. Consult your manual for information about operation with advanced features of specific sprayers. Let's look at the basic components. Let's start with our control settings. Graco sprayers have three separate controls, the on-off power switch, prime spray valve, and the pressure control knob. The pressure control knob allows you to control the spraying pressure. Turn the knob clockwise for more pressure and counterclockwise for less pressure. The knob has four symbols to help you determine the desired pressure setting. The first symbol is the pressure roller symbol. This setting is used for the pressure roller accessory. The second symbol is the priming and cleaning symbol. Use this setting for priming and cleaning your sprayer. The third symbol is the low pressure spray symbol. This setting is used for spraying at lower pressure when using lighter material like stains and enamels. While the fourth symbol, high pressure spray, is for spraying at the highest pressure for heavy materials like latex or acrylic paint. Turn the prime spray valve horizontally for the spray position and vertically for the prime position. Priming fills the sprayer with paint or other materials, either for painting or storage, and is required for proper operation. The prime spray valve is also used to relieve pressure in the system. The power switch is located on the backside of most sprayers. The suction tube, the larger of the two tubes, draws the material or paint into the system, while the smaller prime tube or drain tube is used for draining material or waste from the system. The inlet screen is located at the bottom of the suction tube and prevents objects such as twigs, leaves, or rocks from being sucked into the system and damaging your sprayer. The power flush attachment is an easy way to clean the sprayer system if you're using water-based paint. Some Graco Magnum sprayers come with an InstaClean filter. This filter keeps you spraying longer by reducing spray tip clogs. The filter is automatically cleaned when the prime valve is used to relieve pressure. Other Graco sprayers include a manifold filter that should be removed and cleaned after each job. Your Graco sprayer comes complete with an airless spray gun and hose. The particular gun that you own depends upon which sprayer you've purchased. However, all Graco guns come with a tip and tip guard and a removable gun filter for easy cleaning after each use. Assembling your new sprayer couldn't be easier. It's practically assembled right out of the box. First, connect the hose to the sprayer at the fluid outlet and tighten it with a wrench. Now, connect the spray gun to the other end of the hose. If the hose is already connected, make sure the connections are tight. Use two wrenches to tighten connections. Unscrew the spray tip guard and assembly from the spray gun. Once the guard assembly is removed, uncoil the hose and let it lay flat. It is natural for the hose to recoil a bit. Make sure the power switch is off. Turn the pressure control counterclockwise now go ahead and plug the unit into a grounded wall outlet. And that's it. Let's get ready to start the unit. If your sprayer is brand new or has been in storage, you'll want to flush out the storage fluid. Be sure to put on your safety glasses before getting started. A spill tray can be used to catch any paint drips and keep your painting area clean. To flush out your unit, turn the prime spray valve to prime. Separate the prime tube from the suction tube and place the prime tube into a waste pail. If spraying oil-based materials, submerge the suction tube in mineral spirits or compatible cleaning solvent. If spraying water-based materials, submerge the suction tube in water. Make sure the unit is plugged into a grounded outlet. Turn the power switch on and turn the pressure control knob slowly clockwise until the pump starts. Because Graco sprayers feature a demand delivery system, when you first turn on your sprayer, the pump may not run until the pressure control knob is turned up to a point that demands delivery. Your Graco pump lasts longer because it only pumps when needed. Allow fluid to flow out of the prime tube into the waste pail for about 30 seconds until the fluid is running clear. Turn the power switch off. You are now ready to prime the unit and hose with paint. Stir your paint to make sure that it's fully mixed. It's a good idea to strain your paint. Use a strainer bag to rid the paint of any unwanted sediments that might affect the finish and clog the spray tip. Now submerge the suction tube into the paint pail with the prime tube still in the waste pail. The prime spray valve should still be in the prime position. Turn the power switch on. The sprayer's motor should begin to run. When paint comes out of the prime tube, release the trigger safety on the gun and squeeze the trigger into the waste pail. 
Keep the trigger squeezed while turning the prime spray valve horizontal to the spray position. Be sure to squeeze the trigger during this step. Continue triggering the gun into the waste pail to pump the water out of the hose until you see paint coming out of the gun. At this point, go ahead and release the trigger and turn the gun safety on so the trigger cannot be accidentally squeezed. The sprayer, hose, and gun are now loaded with paint. You can now clip the prime tube back onto the suction tube so both tubes are now in the paint pail. Remember to turn the pressure control clockwise to increase spraying pressure to high spray. Now it's time to install the tip and tip guard. Before installing the tip and guard, double check the safety on the gun. Attach the tip and guard assembly onto the gun and hand tighten the retaining nut. Be sure that the arrow shaped handle of the spray tip is pointing forward and that it is inserted or seated completely into the housing. The arrow shaped handle of the spray tip points forward when it is in the spray position and can be turned backward for unclogging the spray tip. This is why Graco tips are called reversible spray tips. Tips can also be used to spray either vertically or horizontally depending upon their position in the housing and your preference. Remember, Never put your hand in front of the spray tip and never point the spray gun at yourself or anyone else. Selecting the correct spray tip is vital to the quality of your finish and the performance of your new Graco unit. Your unit comes with a tip that is used in most common applications. Generally, a heavy material like exterior latex paint requires a larger spray tip hole size and lighter materials like stains and enamels require a smaller spray tip hole size. On average, a Graco carbide spray tip will spray 15 to 40 gallons or more before it needs to be replaced. Spray tip life depends on the quality and abrasiveness of the material being sprayed. Most materials will identify which spray tip to use on the outside of their container. Make sure the spray tip size you select is supported by your sprayer. Visit Graco's website at magnum.graco.com for additional information on tip selection. Once the tip and tip guard are properly installed, you're ready to spray. Before you get started spraying, if you do not have a lot of experience, it is best to start on a large flat area, like the side of a house or other area not easily seen. You can even just spray water for practice, but make sure you let the surface dry completely before painting with real paint. In a good spray pattern, the paint or coating material is completely and evenly distributed onto the surface. There are several techniques that you can use to ensure a quality finish use some scraps of cardboard to test the quality of the spray pattern. Start at the minimum spray pressure and slowly increase the pressure until a good spray pattern is achieved. This is a good spray pattern. Notice that there are no runs in the pattern and that the pattern itself is smooth and even. If your pattern has what are known as fingers or tails, that is an uneven finish such as this, then the pressure should be increased. Spraying at the lowest pressure possible while still getting a good spray pattern will save wear and tear on your pump and spray tip. If you are at the maximum pressure setting and the spray pattern is still not suitable, a smaller spray tip hole size should be used or your material may need to be thinned. The spray gun should be held approximately.